Yeah, he's seen my games. He's literally watched me play the game. I am indeed bronze one. I gotta say gold. I was, I was silver five, but I demoted. And I'm upset. And I'm like hard stuck, low silver, bronze. Like hard stuck. And it's not that I have bad aim or something. Like, I, I am decent. I'm just inconsistent. What? What did my thrush just do? Okay. What's happening? I want to take my E. Give me that shit. All done. Oh no. Are you gonna hook? Nice. Okay, good hook. Good hook. Great hook. Great hook. Easy as 500 G's. Right back in my pocket. It's like the Zeri got all those kills and then gave it right back to me. I'm picking my E to dive this level 1 Zeri. Because she's literally going to be level 1 here. Nice. Wow, this Zeri is so sad, bro. She has zero CS. Imagine being zero CS at three minutes. Like, you, she has to think the game is over for her, right? I don't think Thresh can tank all of these, bro. Whoa! Yo! That's half my HP. What is that? And how does that hit me? Also... Yo, that's super chill, bro. I come to lane and half my HP is gone. That's super chill, actually. I feel like. Oasis is like 20 wins from getting to my LP, and I'm 10 wins from Challenger. I don't... Are you trying to say he's really low, or are you trying to say he's... Like... That's really bad. That's like 400 LP or something. That's like a 400 LP gap. Yo, what is this? Go, go, go! Hook someone! Hook someone, man! Hook this bitch! She has no cooldowns! Oh my god! Walk up and flay her, man! Oh my god. Brother! Oh, brother. Oh, brother. This guy stinks, man. All right, I'm staying, I'm staying under the turret. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm like one Zeri Q right click from death. Like I, like I don't think there's anything I can really do there. I won't type anything. I won't type anything. I'm gonna be nice, Chad. I'm reformed. My mom once said, "If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all." So I will say absolutely nothing. I'm reformed. Reformed. I'm definitely gonna at least get a Vamp Scepter here. I might not go the full Bloodthirster, but death Vamp Scepter. Like, they have a lot of chip damage.
Oasis is a low bomb. Yeah, last I saw him, he was like uh, double digit OP. No flame, but like genuinely, that's the last. That's the last time I saw him. <laughs> no flame, no flame. Oh, oh, that is soul skin is pretty. Oh, she has no bubble. Should be free kill. Okay. Oh, oh, what is this? This guy is sieging with his bot lane? I don't understand. What is this, bro? He just took the wave from his ADC? What? What is this? Like, this guy stinks, man. Are you not going to hook anyone? Oh my gosh, man. This guy stinks. Just play not, man. Just play not. Why do you make it complicated and play this, play your garbage ass thrush? Like, I don't understand. I can't believe that Talia walked into my lane, took the entire wave from her ADC, and my Thresh still died. Like, how bad can this player be? Thank you. What's with this Talia camp, bro? She's on me. This Talia wants me, bro. What's her problem? Can I do it, chat? Oh! I'm out. I'm out! Woo -hoo -hoo! Baby! That dodge, yeah. Just run circles around her. Like, there's no way she'd ever be able to hit me a bubble if I just run circles around her. Hope I get some blood on these boots. The colors would get dull. Walk away from the bush in case Talia's camping. Or you'll be nothing! Do, 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 do. Thing is, this is a hard winning lane. If this guy would just like perma spam go in, like it would not be losable. But he's like so scared. If she R's, hook and follow.
Like, all he has to do is hook the, um, the Zoe, and it, the Zoe will actually bring us right to the Zeri, because she'll teleport back on top of Zeri, and we'll just kill her. I don't trust- it's not that I don't like this dive attempt, I just don't trust this Thresh. I can't actually get any plates here. Why- why is Asol leaning against Orn and Rumble leaning against Raven? Like, I don't understand. All right, we dive here, cause Zoe's mid. Come on, come on. All right, nice. We should be able to shred the tower now because we have uh, four grubs. Wait, take the tower with me. Why is he not taking the tower with me? I don't understand. Oh, it's fine, Chad. It's fine. I think even with my Rumble and Asol feeding, it doesn't really matter because Yi and I are fed, and we're like the only ones that really matter on in the team count. I mean, we're not there yet. This Yi has no fear. This Yi is gonna die. This Yi doesn't care! He's out too! Wait, can we can we help him? Alright, I guess not. Sucks he didn't get the drag, but. Average E player? Bro just flashed in. That was insane. What is this Zeri doing? <laughs> Yo, nice flash, Zeri. Okay, Zeri flashed down. Yi's gonna get the kill too. Oh yeah, it's it's up, it's up. Yi, yep, and he followed him with the Q, perfect. My Yi is just too good. The Yizzler, the young Yizzle God. Yo, Killshot, thank you for the lurk. Supports hate dying for good plays. I agree. How's my favorite Samira player doing today? I'm doing good. I just woke up. Alright, get my mortal reminder. Mortal now is almost always better. I keep repeating this every stream because I want people to understand. They changed Mortal and LDR. LDR no longer gives more pen. The only difference between LDR and Mortal is one, Mortal gives Grievous Wound Passive, and two, LDR gives 10 more AD. I'd rather have the Grievous Wounds Passive because everyone in this season, especially, has like some type of innate healing, whether it be in their kit or with their items or in their runes. So, like, Mortal is just better now. Like, Draven has Bloodthirster and Lifesteal and Runes. Zeri has Flea and Lifesteal and Runes, most likely. Uh, like, there's Health Regen as well. If Zeri, if um, Zoe picks up, like, Heal or something, like, it'll reduce it as well. Oh, 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, well, I'm just dead. Like, what is this guy doing, man? This guy just does not want to win, I swear. Like, I need him to be hooking. Like, if he's not hooking, I'm just not going to be able to play because he's the only engage. He should have just played Nautilus. He is still win trade hours. No, he's just really freaking bad. I got you, bro. I actually like playing Samir into Ornn because I can block Ornol, which is like the the best part of his kit. And this Karazona guy is a pig too, but the fact that he's gapping my 80s, my um, my support is crazy. This enemy support, he's a horrible player. Poof, I farted. Falconator. Falconator, you be saying some questionable things on Twitter, my guy. Man, do you play Malphite too? Because you rock. Aw, thank you. Very sweet of you. Hang on. I should just do it again. I'm trying to go around a place where there's no ward so I don't get Zeri bubble or Zoe bubble, I mean. Oh, this match is so bad, but it's fine. My the rest of my team is like playing decent, like the team fight's decent, so it's all good. Can still win. GG should be. If I if they let me get on Draven like that, like we're just gonna win easily. I don't know why Draven would go Collector third. Like, that seems really bad, no? Shouldn't he go LDR? At least Aesol will be engaged soon. Yeah. Aesol is actually, like, a pretty good engage. And he's got a Rylize. And slows or s slows sometimes can be just as good as, as actual CC. Big AoE knock-up slow, like... So good. I'm saying AoE knock up slow because um he has Rylaws. And he can like apply it so so well. They're all rotating bot for Rumble. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna clear wave high here. Give me lantern, bro. Give me out. Right. Zarya without ult is just hella useless. Wait, what is Talia doing? <laughs> yeah, nice one, Talia. Rawlite needs to be removed from the game. It is pretty OP. Hydration check? Alright, I got you. Honestly, I'm gonna just run bot and start pushing wave. It's not worth for me to stop for this red buff. Stay hydrated. Thank you. 
It's always, why isn't Vigorous playing Samira and not, how's your day, Vigorous? Stay hydrated, Vigorous. We need to take care of our streamers, guys. We want them to last a long time. Do you guys want me to be durable or not? If you want me to live a long life of streaming for you guys, then you guys need to make sure I'm taking care of myself. Okay, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I'm just gonna reset, but we should do drag. See what I mean? Like, Draven does no damage because he went Collector instead of LDR. See what I mean, chat? Good mental. Good mental. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. My team's fighting topside. I'm just gonna push since I'm already down here. I'm not gonna be able to get to that fight. I wasn't thinking we'd fight because Yi's in base and we don't want to fight without Yi. See, Yi's all the way back here. I don't know why they fought that. That's just a bad fight, but it's okay. I get a bot turret for free, so. I'm always trying to get something on the other side of the map if I can't be out of play. Hey, at least Thornbull realizes it. He he said earlier, don't be stupid, and then he got caught here. I'm very close to Bloodthirster here. I'm right here. You are here. Uh, is it normal to get boots last? I'm so after the recent boots nerfs where they're like hella expensive, it's just like better to play on item spikes. Like boots aren't worth it for my champ anyway. For other champs that are eight, like um attack speed reliant, like some champs need boots like Kaisa and Zeri. They need the actual attack speed boots to max out their uh, their their champs. Like Zeri needs it for Q max out and Kaisa needs it for E. But on champs that don't really need boots like MF, Draven, Samira, uh after the boots nerf, since they're so expensive, I just haven't been buying, finishing them. And just playing for item spikes. I see, thank you, no problem. But pre, pre boots nerf, since boots were like more worth, I'd go them more often. There are some times where the, where it's like just worth to get boots. But like, um, here, they have, um, like, Three, two APs and two ADs, so I don't really want to get plated. Swifties are all right because they're like full backline, so Swifties would be okay. I wouldn't go Mercs here because, um, like getting s Mercs, it, like tenacity is fake on ADC. Like if I get CC'd for even a second, I'm probably gonna just gonna die. And besides, like, mercs don't really do anything for a lot of champs in the game right now. Because most champs CC is, like, knockups, knockbacks, and displacements. And this guy is so bad. And and um, mercs doesn't really do anything, doesn't do anything to those. I'm just going to go top here. They can do the Baron without me. So mercs is usually not worth it. I usually only build mercs if there's literally no other option. Like, they're full AP team or something. Plated is not good. Swifties isn't good. Then I'll go, I'll go Mercs. All right, back here. So here, I'm gonna go Elixir of Iron um, for the extra HP and movement speed. And then I'm gonna go Swifties. Because I want movement speed to be able to get into their back line. Bit BS that Troll is only slow is 50%, but Rala... Thing is... Thing is, the problem I have with Sharalda is that it only slows when they're low, too. So it's like, 
I mean, I get it. They wanted to make it purely an, an assassin item, so it makes sense, but it's still annoying. Because it makes it less viable in other classes where it used to be viable. Well, this Draven's dead as hell. Dang, I couldn't kill him. Oh, Rumble got him. Nice. Wait, what is this TP? Why is he TPing here? To be honest, we can if they if they try to go for soul, we just take their whole base. Hook him, bro. Go, 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 go. Send, send, send. No Tali. Go, 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 go. Send, 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 send. Is Yi is 1v3ing them? Oh, that's not very good. So what are we doing here? Oh, well, that's not very good. Oh, that's not very good. I don't want to be. I wasted. It. Oh no 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 no. We're gonna lose soul for like no reason. I wish A soul didn't back. We, I think we could have fought this to be honest. I'm gonna try to flip it. My, my barrier didn't go off, bro. Yo, Pierre, thank you for the Prime. 10 months, bro. Appreciate you. I actually had to flash there. I think I would have died. I mean, what is this hook? Kill the Talia, man. Thank God. I mean, where is he as well? Hello? Now I feel like I don't want a life steal, man. Ugh. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go play this because these guys are the ones really hitting me and doing damage to me. So. We need to get Baron. Oh my gosh, she got zapped. Oh! Hey, he's dead. Okay, I think we get Baron for free. This Thresh is blind? Yeah, he's terrible. But it's alright. Can still win. No, only two boots. They're still worth to rush. Are Zerks and Zorks? Yeah, pretty much. Mercs are so bad now. They just put you too far behind because they're so expensive. But since I'm at, like, last item, like, I'm going, uh, I'm going it. I'm going plated since I'm at like last item.
Oh, give me a lantern. Oh, there goes my Mercurial Scimitar. Oh, it's just so hard because I can't just go in like I need an engage and this thrush is just not a good engager Just not good. Just not good actually. Leave it at that. He's just not good Oh god, man Okay, we lived. I just feel so useless here because I can't even get in range to actually fight anything. It's mostly just Asol and, and Rumble doing the fighting and Yi. I'm just kind of there. Like, hey, if they, like, miss position, I can fight, haha. <laughs> but other than that, I'm just there. Like, they drop a Tali'i and I'm just useless. Like, how do I even get in range? Okay, nice. We won. GG's. Yep. Alright. First game of the day. Was a good one.